Welcome to NextStar TV, a free resource that uses video tutorials to explain IT topics. My name is Emily, and today's video is Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 18 Hyphenation. In this video, I'll be covering hyphenation in your document and how to create manual and automatic hyphenation. Okay, so you may have noticed that when a word doesn't fit on a line, Word 2010 will automatically wrap the word to the next line. Now this can cause the right margin of your page to look a little jagged. So if you want to avoid this, you can use hyphenation, which will break words at a hyphenation point to make the right edge of your page look more uniform. You can also fit more text on the page with hyphenation. So this right here is what hyphenation looks like. Okay, so to change hyphenation settings, you're going to want to go to page layout, come over to hyphenation, and you can choose between none, automatic, and manual. Now none is what you're automatically set to and that means that there will be no hyphenation. Automatic will apply hyphenation to your document um, using a set of uniform rules that Word has and manual will give you more control and let you make hyphenation a case-by-case -case basis in your document. And we'll get into the manual hyphenation a little bit later. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about your extra hyphenation options. So to see these you're going to go to page layout, hyphenation, and click hyphenation options. Now the first box shows automatically hyphenate document and if you click this, this is the same as choosing automatic from the menu, um, from the hyphenation menu. Now the next thing you see is hyphenate words in all caps. Many times all cap words are acronyms, which shouldn't be hyphenated. So the default setting is to not hyphenate words in all caps, but if you want to change this, all you need to do is, is check this box. So if you don't have it, they're not going to have hyphenations between URL caps. If you do check it, it will be hyphenated. Okay, so your hyphenation zone. Your hyphenation zone is the default area where words will start being um, hyphenated in. So if the last word of your line ends further to the left than what your margin is, then it will be a candidate for hyphenation. So the default is one-fourth of an inch. Now you can adjust this so that way you will allow more or less leniency on your hyphenation. Um, the next area is limit consecutive hyphens to. Uh, what this does is will limit the number of consecutive rows that end in hyphens. Uh, why they have this is because uh, aesthetically it kind of looks bad if you have a bunch of consecutive rows with hyphenations. Um, so to avoid this, you can set a max number of consecutive lines that can be hyphenated. So it starts with no limit, but you can set it to one, two, three, or whatever you need. Now, if you want to turn off um, hyphenation on a specific paragraph that's pretty easy to do, what you want to do is highlight whatever area you don't want to be hyphenated. And then you come up to Home. You'll come over to the Paragraph dialog box. You'll click the line and page breaks and you'll click don't hyphenate and you see that it'll take away hyphenation. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about is manual hyphenation and what manual hyphenation does is it inserts discretionary hyphens. So these are hyphens that can appear if the word happens to fall near the end of a line and needs to be hyphenated. But if the word doesn't appear at the end of a line then the word will not be hyphenated. So to add manual hyphenation you'll come over to page layout click hyphenation, then click manual. And this will bring a box up of all the words that are eligible for hyphenation. Now if you want this word to be eligible for hyphenation, you'll click yes, or if you do not want it to be hyphenated in your document, you will click no. So Word uh, puts a cursor where it's automatically breaking the word, but you can also place the cursor where you'd prefer it to break, and then click yes, and this will change the breakpoint of this hyphenation word in your document. And once you've gone through all the words that are eligible for manual hyphenation and click OK, all the changes will take place in your document. Thank you for joining NextStar TV for Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 18 Hyphenation. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to visit www.nextstar.tv for other tutorials or subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com front slash nextstara.